The DA's alternative medium-term budget policy statement in October 2021 proposed a fiscal policy platform for a post-pandemic economic resilience that would enable prudent fiscal management, unlock economic growth, disrupt high levels of unemployment, and alleviate the disproportionate impact of rising inflationary pressures on the poor. The policy imperatives of these key deliverables have not changed and provide the framework for the DA's alternative budget for 2022. Achieving economic growth that generates jobs, especially after the devastating effects of a global pandemic, will test the mettle of our collective national resolve. It is a challenge that we have to confront head on. If we are to address the staggering levels of unemployment and increasing poverty amongst vulnerable groups in our country, the DA's 2022 alternative budget presents how a DA government will reverse the upward debt spiral by containing debt and managing expenditure, attract investment capital and encourage savings to accelerate economic growth, stimulate economic growth enablers by ensuring energy and water security, attracting retired educators back into the system and reforming state-owned enterprises for private investment fight corruption by making an exception to our commitment to no new taxes or tax increases by imposing a punitive corruption tax. Protect vulnerable South Africans by introducing a conditional basic income grant, supporting small, medium and micro business enterprises in particular, and leveraging pension fund assets to the benefit of fund members. The DA continues to emphasize the importance of foster economic growth to address staggering levels of unemployment, unsustainably high debt and growing poverty levels. To unlock the growth dividend, our economy should be opened up to more private investment and innovation.